I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins at the Closing Market Minute for Friday, June 28th. Soybeans ended the session mixed. The USDA says the quarterly grain stocks were larger than expected and up more than 20% on the year. The acreage number looks a little bit weird. Now the number was a little bit below pre-report expectations, but that does include nearly 13 million acres of soybeans that remained unplanted as of the time the report was assembled. So that's gonna change a lot as we go forward. Corn closed lower, also pressured by sharply higher quarterly grain stocks, not putting a whole lot of emphasis on this year's planted area total as of yet. We're gonna know a lot more about corn and soybeans as well once the prevent plant numbers start coming out in August. In Chicago and Kansas City, wheat were lower, even with the USDA projecting an 8% year-to-year decline for U.S. winter wheat acreage, quarterly grain stocks were up sharply on the year. The USDA's next round of supply and demand estimates is out on June 12th. Live and feeder cattle were sharply lower, maybe a little bit disappointed over the direct cash cattle business that occurred during the session. It was limited to the live basis and steady to it only a dollar higher than a week ago. And hogs closed higher with the pork carcass cutout value up sharply at midday. Part of that, though, is probably retail position squaring ahead of July 4th. With the closing market minute for Friday, June 28th, I'm Brownfield Commodity Market Reporter John Perkins.